Okay guys, it is um, 2.25 a.m. on Wednesday. Let me look at the date again. Um, yeah, Wednesday, May 26th, 2021. Alright, so I'm going to show you what I got from Walmart today. And uh, I got some... I'll tell you real quick before I get started with the Walmart things. I got some gum from... Uh, food fair I got some spearmint uh Wrigley's spearmint and sorry Wrigley's uh big red and two bubble gum packs that are already gone because I love bubble gum I got some ice creams and two chocolate milks and two white milks by the way I don't know why I feel that's important to tell you but I do okay so starting off we're gonna start off with the first thing I grabbed because I do need some to hang photos with command strips now, let me tell you a little secret about these guys. What you can do is, even though this is the value pack, literally, I didn't even realize it said it right there, value pack, you can take them and split them down the middle just so you have more. That's what I did. I got, like, so many photos and canvases that need hung on my walls, it's unrealistic. Like, I've got photos in my entertainment center over there. Where that glasses stuff is at, there's like pictures of my Guitar Heroes, pictures of my first concert, all that kind of stuff, sentimental photos to me, you know. So I've decided that I'm going to rehang them maybe tomorrow. I'm going to try and put the glass photo frames where they won't fall, so they may be around that Randy Jackson chord chart uh, photo. That's actually just being hung by scotch tape as well as the music poster and the Harley Quinn poster, by the way. Sorry about the light. Um, these are actually really good at holding up photos, but I wouldn't suggest a massive-ass picture like a uh, Twilight poster, for example. That's, that thing fell on my head when it was over there. Um, in between the uh, wall over there, back when my room was still the nasty-ass white color. So I wouldn't suggest doing that. I don't know how big it is. I just know it's about the size of that makeup case closed. That's all I know. That's it. And speaking of that, I got some new stuff to show you. All right, so let me get it out here. I got the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. Sorry, the NYX Total Control Pro Drop Foundation in the shade Nude 6.5. I know the lighting sucks, guys. It's because it's, like, really obviously late at night here. And uh, I just didn't want to, like, turn on the light and wake anyone up. But I'm sure you guys can figure out what it looks like. I'm going to be wearing it tomorrow, so you'll see it anyway. I'm going to throw away the box now that I've showed it. And I have an original one here. And the new one. The new one is actually... Well, it's not weirder, but it's cute looking. Because it's in a porcelain bottle. Let me try to put them beside each other. And the older one I have in my hand is literally about empty. That's why I got this today. They are the same shade, Nude 6.5, and, a half. and uh, the dropper on this one is different. If you have not seen it yet, I'm not going to show you until tomorrow. Maybe I might not do my makeup with this uh, on a video, I mean, but I'm definitely going to do my makeup tomorrow. And I got a new concealer. This is the HD Studio Photogenic Concealer in the shade CW03. CW03 and a half nude beige. Like, this is like the darkest I can go in their collection. They have a wide collection of uh, concealer and foundation shades, which is a good thing because there's obviously more than just uh, a few set of complexions out there, and that's a really good thing to live by. So, yeah. I'm not going to toss this one because it's just got a little bit left in it, but I'm still going to use it. And I got the NYX Filler Instinct. Lip gloss here. It's in the shade Let's Glaze. I had this one before. 
it went bad because I have naturally plump lips because of my ancestry. I'm not going to go into that because I don't want to, uh, I don't want people to think I'm lying or anything like that, but I'm just going to say goodbye on that subject. I also got one of these. I wanted these, one of these for a while. This would be perfect for like my individual eyeshadows and my mascaras. If I can get my hand down in here and do the, do it. Um, they had one of these in pink, right? I could not afford to get it. Like, at least, but now, now look. The only way I'd be able to reach down in there and get it is with two fingers. So this will not be a lip gloss caddy. Maybe right there it would be actually perfect for that. That might actually not be a bad idea, because look. I'm going to go through all those tomorrow. There is a um, organizer in there. It's a little nail polish organizer. And I like how these two little foundations just sit right here. Petite. I was going to say petitely. They're so cute, actually. I'm going to put this down so I don't drop it and break it. Um, cause I just got that today. That was the only one in the whole store. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go through those lip glosses again and those lipsticks again and see which ones are old and which ones are new cause you, okay. A lot of people don't know this, but, um, usually if a lip gloss or a liquid lipstick is old, it will let off a stench right? And it's not, okay, so it might depend on which brand you get. Most of the ones I get put off the same stench, probably because they are the same brand, but it is still the same principle. It puts off a, uh, I don't even know if pungent is the right word to say for it. It's just not a stench that smells very pleasant on your lips. And another way to tell that the liquid lipstick is old is how old long it stays on your lips. By the way, if it stays on for more than an hour, then it's still good. If it stays on for maybe an hour, that's, uh, that's a sign of it being old. And it needs to be tossed. Now, I've got quite a few good ones here, even though they are old. So I'm going to keep them till they do expire. I gave one to my aunt recently because she loved it, and I happened to have two of them. So I cleaned it up with a makeup wipe real quick and I handed it to her. I said, here, you can take it. Because I'm actually trying to declutter this uh, room a little bit. But yeah, uh, that's what I got at Walmart and Food Fair today. I didn't really have to show you what I got at Food Fair because you know what ice cream looks like, guys. It's either vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry in our house. And we got ice cream cones. I got some Luigi ice, okay? I don't get Luigi ice a lot, but that's one of my favorite things to snack on. It's a healthy thing, and I like it, okay? And uh, I wanted one of those organizers for a while, and it just happens to match the theme of my black organizing shelf over there. I'm going to keep the other one, but I think I'm going to try and go through this mascaras as well. Now, the same thing applies with mascara, but also, some of them do come with a stench in them already right so uh what you want to do is you want to take a flashlight or a magnifying glass and look at the wand dip it like five or six times and uh, if it shows up clumpy and dry looking that's bad that means it's bad obviously i can't tell you about eyeliner because uh, the only types of eyeliner eyeliners i know that go bad are liquid ones and i have used all of my liquid ones up before they went bad except one i'm still using it because i bought one exactly like it at tj maxx for literally about three dollars and fifty cents i could be wrong on the price even i don't know i don't care but anyway um I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry the lighting sucks here. I'm going to finish and um, I'm going to eat my sandwiches, enjoy my milk, and then go to bed here soon when my medicine kicks in. I took it about 15 minutes ago or something like that, and I just did all the dishes. Like, you know, 
let me tell you real quick. I have stood there for about 30 minutes hand washing dishes, like maybe 15 items. I put most of the dishes in the dishwasher, every single piece of silverware, bowls, plates, cups, except for the ones I didn't think that could be washed in the dishwasher that I feel like they would melt. So, you know. Um, having a dishwasher is really handy, but it's not so handy if you don't use it, right? So, I'm just going to leave it at that because uh, I don't want to say anything offensive. Anyway, it's 2.36 a.m. Peace. If you're new, have a wonderful day and please subscribe. Smack the like button and goodbye. Also, I do segments on how to do chores. I have been slacking off on that. One last thing I'm going to say is we are planning on getting a new washer and dryer. And personally, smack the like button if uh, you agree with me on this. I feel like since I'm the one who does the most laundry around the house, I feel like I should have the say in which type of washer and dryer we get. Because we're getting a brand new washer and dryer for real, like a set. And the set I looked at is the set that I really think that would be perfect for me. Because it's a nice front load set like we had in South Carolina and with the matching dryer you know a dryer is literally the same whether it's matches a top load or a front load that's it but uh, that's all I got to say anyway like I said smack the like button if you agree with me on that and if you're new please subscribe and smack the like button if you're new I'm up to over 100 subscribers yay Help me get up to a thousand subscribers before the end of 2021, and then the numbers will keep climbing. All right, anyways, it is 2.37 a.m. All right, peace. I'm sorry, this is a long outro. Bye-bye.